this is a another solution from a safe zone dot AI uh, to monitor school students uh, temperatures on their vitals uh, just by wearing those safe uh, strap watch that we have uh, all they need to do is they just need to wear the watch and then we have our own uh, gateway collectors which collects the data over the Bluetooth from every classroom that you have in the school so the main purpose of this uh, this uh, solution is to track the students because the students are the silent carriers for the for the uh, for the coronavirus and they will not get impacted at all but when they come home and they uh, they uh, they pass it on that virus to the parents and that's where the main problem comes in once the schools opens up so to monitor uh, the kids uh, temperature and the heart rate and other vitals this is the only solution that we have uh, which is very effective, uh, which can help us uh, to to uh, monitor the kids' temperature and other vitals. So, if you look at the solution that we have, is we have a safe strap and then safe uh, safe gate. That's what we call safe gate. Is the gateway that we use to collect all the data from all the watches inside the inside the school. So, the safe gate will uh, will have a, a power of uh, at least reading for every second it can read 300 watches per per gateway so at the at the range of 250 feet range so in a school of 10,000 square feet we can install like maybe 15 25 of them uh, 15 to 20 25 depends on the the range of the school the walls and all that it's going to impact a little bit but we can figure it out how many gateways are required and then watches each each safe uh, strap needs to be uh, 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 needs to be uh, allocated for individual students so if you look at this in the left side we have a temperature statistics and uh, from that's where you can see how the school temperature is at any given time and it, it tells you number of total students and how many people that it measured and one of them is not working so that's not uh, calculating so uh, and you can see all the green statistics and you can see that's here number six of them are collected one is not measured and and if you go a little further here, uh, you have a class temperature, individual class, how many people are there in the class, and then how many, uh, how the data is per, per uh, class basis. So it's all normal. You can see the temperature value. There. It's collecting other, other vitals also, but you can go inside and you can see each one of them in how, uh, how the data has been collected. Okay. Now, uh, if you look at the, uh, the information management this is the place where we create all the all the students list here under student management we can create the students here and let's see that what we have we have all the students created so you create the student from here and you specify what his id and date of birth and stuff once we create the student here uh, what we need to do is we need to go to the device manager device manager that's where we have our existing devices of gateways already I have like I think six or uh, three of them are online, two of them are offline. We don't need them. So we're using only three. And if you look at the variable list, this is the place where we assign, uh, where we assign all the, all the, these are the MAC IDs of individual watches that we have, safe straps. That's what we call safe strap. It's a smart watch basically. And uh, this is the place where we bind the variable to a student, specific student. If you go to the bind variable, you specify your you know uh, mac id and then type of uh, type of band and model number all that you specify all of them here not all of them are in you know, a mandatory so class which class that student belongs to this watch is given to a specific student and then here you have to have a students listed you know right now it's not created any i i haven't created any students here under student management there are no new students basically it's not going to show you if the students are already assigned for uh, the watches so once it is done and that's all they need to do there is nothing else that they need to do you can just uh, start watching the uh, watching the school temperature i mean the each each kid temperature and also we have a because of the gateway reads all the watches of all the students we have attendance details also you can see how many people are attending today's how many people came to the school uh, the classes you know by class by class you can even see uh, by by class so that's the advantage of uh, this solution this is a very quick and easy solution we are implementing that in one of the schools in in virginia right now uh, maybe uh, very soon may I, I spoke to the to the 
the principal and he was so very very excited he really wanted this one because they already started the school like three days to, three days uh, kids are going to the school so he was so happy when he uh, saw this and he's going to uh, he said he's going to meet me tomorrow and then see how we uh, can uh, finalize the uh, the deal okay so i just want to show you the solution see that if you can uh, uh, if you can uh, submit to the client and see how they like it uh, let me know if you have any customizations needed we can implement all that uh, as needed basis but at this point it has everything that is required uh, we don't need to complicate uh, complicate uh, this uh, this solution for the kids for the stu uh, students as, as as soon as we get any kind of temperature you know we have alarm center where uh, if the temperature is high or any of the other vitals are high so it's going to give you alarm of that specific student you can just go and talk to the student because we have a student ID and the watch ID so we can simply go and uh, uh, talk to them okay uh, this is the solution. Please let me know. Thank you.